Hey everybody, welcome back to the dumbest modeling channel on all of YouTube, Pit Stain Hobbies. This is officially my fourth attempt to start the video, but we're back on the awesome Fan Home um, build, build Your Own Enterprise D, uh, Star Trek The Next Generation. <laughs> Links below to Fan Home to check out the model. Um, I, don't, I don't even know, is it discontinued? No, they're still, are they still selling it? I don't even know anymore. Um, somewhere, maybe, possibly. Um, also, my Amazon link is down below. Useful. Coming up shortly. Um, we're basically on stage 18. I did some whole panel stuff. It's boring. No one wants to watch me put on whole panels. What you do want to know is what I'm doing to mod this ship, probably. And for that, I'm using these little 1.25 millimeter pitch JST four-wire connectors. It comes with a male and a female. Um, got them from Amazon. Check below in the Amazon store. They're in my list of electronical bits. Um, but I did this side already, and I wanted to show you how I did that. Uh, because basically I need, I need two pairs of positive and negatives going into my warp nacelle. Um, it's going to be one pair for the, uh, the Bassard collectors. Is that a French word? The French name? I don't know. And then, and then for the LED strip going around the inside of the... Uh, the warp grills, the chiller grills, whatever you want to call them. So that's one circuit. And then the other circuit is for my, my beacons connecting to my Evan Design uh, flash with a pause uh, circuit board. So to get four wires in there with a nice plug and play attachment, because the nacelles can be removed, not that I'm ever going to remove them when I'm done, but this way it's easy to put it together, is uh, you, you take this little 28 gauge four wire bundle. And I'm, I would tape it down. I'm going to tape it down. I'm just showing you where you need to put it, basically. Right there up near the front. Okay? Make sure it's there's this little lip here in front of that lip. Okay? And then we'll uh, get our little outside cover plate snapped into place. So behind where the screw goes and in front of that little lip there. And it clicks into place. And we can pull our, see, I pinched it somewhere. That's why you tape them down so you don't look like a flailing moron like me. I'm more listless than a friggin' garbage scout damaged ship at Wolf 359. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, so that, that clears, and we, we can still squeeze it in and out so it's not pinching the wires. It's hugging the wires. That's fine. And then we can put the other end of this connection the 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 receiving oh come on the receiving end <laughs> inside our nacelle and then we could tuck it all into the nacelle when we go to mount it on to the pylon nice right awesome i'm going to get this assembled i got to put the little phaser strips with the spring loaded buttons that were probably going to go to some sort of button in real life back in the day before they realized the budget for the model they'd have to charge us each $10,000 if everything that was spring loaded on this kit actually made a function happen and the circuit board and all the other stuff involved in that we probably would have had to spend five grand to build this thing easy either way i'll be back with some more progress you stay right where you are all righty well uh, we finished with uh issue 18 pretty much i have i was about to start 19 and then i remembered we have another set of blinking lights on this ship that shouldn't be blinking these are going to be for your rear formation lights uh, at the rear of the ship, this isn't the actual light harness, but it's, it goes to show there was, you know, what our problem is, is we don't want them blinking. Uh, similar to the saucer circuit board, and I could have done this on the neck also. I just chopped the dumb PCB out of the wire harness. There's a zoom, enhance, 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 right there. That little black IC chip right there. We have to jumper that fella so that we can... Let me get a little more light on the subject. Sorry about that. We got to jumper that little chip so that we can stop the madness. Stop the madness! Um, so I'm going to zoom back out a little bit because this is hurting my face. There we go. And I'm going to get this jigged up and ready for a little bit of soldering action. Soldering will be required for this mod. Uh, it's just two tiny taps of solder, not a big deal, uh, but I'll show you how to do it, all right? And I'll be right back. Okay, <clears throat> so we've got the board upside down and jigged up 
in the best damn set of helping hands I have ever seen in my life or ever used, the Omni Fixo. Um, I will put a link below. I don't make any money off it, but I everyone needs one of these sets. Uh, it was, I think, on Adam Savage's tested a couple times. Uh, it is an amazing, an amazing set of helping hands, but I'm not going to get into it. Um, there's plenty of review videos of people way more competent than me. But like we were saying, we got to jump two of these pins together. So just to clarify, we're going to jump this pin with this pin. And look at that, solid light. Okay, not this pin, because that pin will just shut them off. Okay. Wait, now they're not blinking. What do they do? Just touching it? What the hell? Okay, I was not expecting that to happen. But, um, maybe don't touch that pin. Oh, now they go out. Oh, I think I got a weak solder joint right there anyway. Um, so there's a chance my board could have possibly done bad. What we're going to do is we're just going to take a tiny piece of wire and solder to these two points. And that will, and now I've killed the, the chip. Apparently I shorted the chip out already. Uh, so now it's totally dead. But if you do that, not to worry. You just wire these two leads together and you'll have solidly lit um, formation lights on your ship. And Todd is going to go over this in very close photographic detail for everybody on his website on My Enterprise D. Um, and I'm going to get to soldering and I'll be right back. Okay, well, there we go. <clears throat> Got a tiny little piece of wire soldered there between that middle pin and that upper pin on the other side. And we have no more blinkies. Uh, we had nothing for a little bit there. I must have shorted out the little IC chip. doesn't really matter. Um, if you needed to, you could have just chopped the whole IC chip, that little black chip right off of there, but it's not necessary. just need to jump those two wires like that. So nice and simple. Uh, I did use the very pointy... Focus. It's still hot. Don't touch it again. I did use the one of the pointier tips I had for my soldering iron. Um, and uh, also, for good luck, I used the happiest soldering station on all of... YouTube. There you go. <laughs> Little Mr. Hako. Hi, everybody. Ah, I'm hot. There we go. And uh, we made a mess. There we are. Yeah, I, I don't know what drugs people think I'm doing. I, I can't afford drugs. I spend too much on modeling products um, to make myself hopefully seem better than I really am. But that being said, our blinky lights are no longer blinky. We're going to put this board back in its home. And I'm going to continue on with the build with issue 19 and we'll be right back Alrighty, well we did a few hours of work just hanging out with buddies on live streams and chats and stuff and we've got done with issues 18 and 19 it's really boring bolting in stuff and windows and escape pot it's just repetitive madness um <laughs> but it is coming along quite nicely so we've got this bolted together We've got these two little lights in here for the rear formation lights that will not blink now because of the mod that we did to the little PCB here. And you can see that little, that little red jumper wire on the IC chip right there. Okay, uh, so that's done. That worked great. Um, Todd is going to document all of that on a no blinky mod page on his My Enterprise D page. So it'll probably be under like model remodel or mod zone or something or electronics. You'll find it. And uh, so yeah, so that's all, these are all bolted on and that's all there. And this is, this is looking pretty, pretty sick. Nice little, nice little phaser banks, or sorry, transporter emitters. God, Ian, those are phasers. Those are transporter emitters. Um, so we did that. We got a few more hull panels on. These bottom hull panels are a little more of a pain in the butt to get in. <clears throat> these are metal and these are metal and these are plastic. And it's kind of like a, it's a wiggling game and you got the edge panel involved and you definitely want to get the, uh, the black tack in there, but, uh, <clears throat> God, the throat clearing always starts the second I start recording. I'm fine all day. Fine. No problems. Get on YouTube, start recording. Instant throat clearing. It's like a freaking curse. Uh, on top of that, both of my, one or both of my USB, uh, power bricks that I was using went, uh, went kaput on me and my cameras started shutting off on me. I'm not sure. I think it was this one that went kaput. Insignia brand. I think that's like Best Buy. And then this is like super old anchor brand. So I got two brand new anchors, um, 46 watts output. 
something like, I don't know, like eight amps total power or something like that. But uh, those are my Amazon store. Uh, they're really nice. They've been working great so far. Uh, I added a whole bunch more little things to my Amazon pages, all sorts of different supplies and brushes. I got these new little tiny, tiny clippy leads that have a little hook on them. They're great for grabbing onto little wires and they're much less likely to short out like banana plugs. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Uh, issues 18 and 19 are done. Um, nothing super exciting yet, uh, but I am looking forward to wiring up my, uh, my four pin harnesses uh, to power my nacelles centrally. That's gonna be sweet. And then find a five volt power brick that this thing's already putting out 1.7 something amps and that's just this, not including the next section that's all already fully lit, not including the star drive section that's gonna be lit or the nacelles that are gonna be lit. Um, definitely gonna pull over two amps, uh, possibly maybe two and a half, possibly closer to three, I don't know, but we'll need a pretty beefy five volt power supply um, to power this ship. But I was kind of expecting that, so no big deal there. And either way, hey, I don't know. Beam up next time for some more uh, more Enterprise, either the D or possibly the A, which is, oh, that thing's a nightmare to work on. Um, and uh, yeah, I gotta get back on other models. I've been, I've been, I've been lax. I went on a little trip, took a little uh, long weekend type of vacation to uh, Paradise Island there with the wife. And it was, uh, it was nice and relaxing, you know? And then I got home and I'm like, holy crap, I'm backed up. Somebody actually emailed me. They're like, dude, are you okay? I haven't seen you post a video in like 10 days. And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, I'm okay. I'm all right. And for everybody asking for stickers, I'm going to get the stickers. I'm going to try to play catch up with that next week. I know I said I would do it like two weeks ago. It's just work has been absolutely insane. And uh, my dad, is, is it, he's been in the hospital and he's, he's, he's struggling with some, some health issues. Uh, so everyone, you know, send him your wishes as well. Um, I, I'd say, you know, like, subscribe, comment, you know, but whatever you want to do, you do. Um, but yeah, we got Todd's website down below, My Enterprise D. We got my Amazon thing down below. Um, if you want to go check out the model, um, they stopped selling it, Fan Home, right now on at least the U.S. webpage. It may come back. Um, hopefully it does, because there's a lot of people that still want to build this, I'm sure. Uh, it is a bit of a challenge, but, you know, I think when it's done, totally going to be worth it. It's going to be this massive, massive spectacle of enterprise. It'll be cool. So we'll see you next time on Pit Stain Hobbies. Thanks for joining us. Adios, us. Um, yo, I'm schizophrenic, so it is us. Adios, everybody.